Carlsbad 5000 women's competition. Also in the field, Viola Giulia from Italy. She's the 2013 Italian champion at the 5,000 and 1,500 meters and the 2014 indoor 3,000 meters. All right, athletes are commanding. But Brenda Martinez, mark, and then the horn. she's in the orange crop top. Runners to your mark. Our women's elite 5K. And we are away. 19 women in all. And it will be interesting to see who takes it out. Number F14, Talana Yu Hoptawal from Ethiopia was a late entrance into the race, and yet there she is right out in front. Yeah, she, um, she's actually come over from Ethiopia, and she's going to stay in the, in the States for some races during the summer. And I got a call from her manager, uh, Fevin Alam, who's based out of New York, saying, can we bring her in? And we brought her in, and yeah, I'm sure she'll want to start her, her road season here in the U.S. with a bang. So we're glad she's here. Betsy Sina from Kenya, but went to the university here in the United States, was a three-time NCAA champion two years ago. Right in that front row, Amy Van Alstein, the U.S. cross-country champion, third in the road 15K championships earlier this month, right in the second row, along with Tom Gebro Selassie. So it looks like an honest pace, Matthew, but nothing severe. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad someone's taking it out. It's, um, I mean, it, it's not always about running fast. It's about being competitive. Um, I was talking to Peter Julian last night, who's uh, Jordan's kind of part of the, the, the Nike Oregon team, and I know she's looking to try and post something fast. And, yeah, it's, it started on us. There's a little hill coming up here now, so we'll see what happens when you turn the corner. And this is why we people wouldn't think on paper that the Carlsbad course is really that fast because you have to go uphill, you have to take two 180 degree turns. And this is why, it may, but this is also, this is why Carlsbad is exciting because sometimes the traffic stops you, but the crowd is also thick right along this opening stretch on Carlsbad Boulevard and it can really get the athletes rolling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's called the world's fastest 5K and it's not necessarily about the course, it's about the people who turn up. Um, some of the world's best athletes have got the name on the trophy. People think they can run fast here and uh, they, they tend to do. It's interesting because young Hopwald, 23 from Ethiopia with the best of 1549 and Betsy Sina of Kenya have really sort of dropped some people already. Gabe Grunewald is already out the back. She took some time off after ninth place finish at the World Indoors in Poland. And maybe that's coming back to haunt her just a little bit here. Lindsay Scherf, who won the Gasparilla Half Marathon in February in Tampa, Florida, and then took fifth at the U.S. Road 15K Championships, is struggling with this fast, early pace. But uh, the rest of the favorites, Bleasdale from the U.K. on the far side of the street, Amy Van Alstein, to two Africa, the three Africans with Gutty Tom Gabriel Selassie right there in third, Brenda Martinez and Jordan Hasse uh, looking very tight, very smooth. They all look like they're well within themselves. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a little surprised to see Gabby off the back. She's working to, to close that gap now, and she's leading that chasing group, if you like. Um, but you're right, Jordan and Brenda both look in great shape, as does Amy. And then, obviously, from the British point of view, we've got Julia Bleasdale looking comfortable there as well. Well, the thing about Julia Bleasdale is uh, she's in her season opener, and she's going against people who are sharp. And we see that here in Carlsbad often. Uh, we'll see it on the men's side as well. People who have not raced Brenda Martinez is also in her season opener. Her coach, uh, V. Hill, does not like to run his athletes indoors because he thinks it produces injuries. But uh, we saw last year Brenda run 1544 in fifth position here. And in doing so, it really ca catapulted her year to that bronze medal at the World Indoors, I mean, the World Championships in Moscow, where she ran 157. I think she's a whole new athlete in her own mind this year. Absolutely agree, and I think that's why she's back here. She had obviously had a, certainly an international breakthrough year last year, and it started here in Carlsbad, and this is why she's back. Um, her and coach have a plan. Um, it's a little bit longer than she's, uh, she's used to running on the track, but it sets her, sets her up nicely for the rest of the year. So hopefully this can be a, you know, a firm base for her for the next few years and goes on to bigger and better things and some more world titles. We just have, I see an American flag in somebody's front yard, and I can see that they have a, it's a bit of, it's an ocean breeze today, and it's a little bit of a tailing ocean breeze going out, which means that long stretch in the second mile 
into that final 180 degree turn will be slightly into their face. And that's why the times can sometimes be slowed. We're coming up on the one mile mark, 440 on the clock in counting, 443, 444 for the first mile here in Carlsbad 2012. Betsy Sina and Etelemiu Haptewald, number 14, lead the way. And Haptewald uh, looks determined now two weeks ago. She ran sixth at the Shamrock AK in New Orleans. And based on that, I wouldn't think we would see her doing this kind of damage early on in Carlsbad. Yeah, this is the first time here. She obviously knows all about her compatriots who run fast here. And, you know, you've got Meseret Defar and Tirunesh Debarba with their names on the trophy. And, you know, I'm sure... I'm sure she looks up at these sort of athletes and she would love her name alongside there. As you say, Gotcha Tom's been here before. She actually looks the more distressed out of the two Ethiopians. Betsy Sina looks great right now as well. Yeah, Betsy now living in Colorado Springs. Uh, and, and Betsy has run 15-12 on the track. She was third at the 2012 African 10,000 meter championships but a three-time U.S. collegiate champion. She's a competitor. Jordan Hasse really looks very strong. Of course, she did not make the world indoor team after that controversy in Albuquerque at the U.S. Nationals. But I think she's used, used that ensuing time uh, uh, to good effect because she seems on form. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, had she gone to world indoor, she might not be here. So that misfortune, if you, for want of a better word, might play in a car's bad hands. She lost a little bit of ground on that turn, just going wide, but she's straight back in the pack. This is the key right here in Carlsbad. We can feel it here on this press truck. There is a pretty strong ocean breeze coming into their face right now. This is also a slight upgrade as they head into this toward the three kilometer mark. And this is where the momentum of the first part of this race course is all lost and it has to be all your own energy pushing it. This is where we usually see some form of separation. Absolutely. This is this is where the, the race can be won and lost. Um, the Ethiopians have been leading, which is quite unusual from an Ethiopian point of view. And they're, they're doing the same now and they're actually taking the, the wind off Jordan and Betsy who's, who've tucked in and Brenda there as well and Amy at the back. So. If, if they're going to lead the next kind of mile or so, it may take its toll in, in, that, last, in that last K and a half. Well, you expect but somebody like Julia Bleasdale, eighth at both the 5,000 and 10,000 meters at the London Games in 2012 in her season opener, but looks very spry, very light of foot. She doesn't seem to be bothered by going into the front and pushing the pace. I know she's headed to Stanford yeah. to try to run a Commonwealth Games uh, qualifier after this race. So I think she's here with her. I don't think there's any pressure on her. No, I don't think so. And, you know, she's been here before. She, 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 likes, uh, she likes Carlsbad. As you say, she's got some, um, some great pedigree in the 5 and 10, finishing 8th in the Olympic Games in London two years ago. And she's going to base herself over here in the States the next few weeks. I think she's heading up to Albuquerque or Flagstaff, I'm not sure which, to, to get that base of training before having a go at the Commonwealth Games qualifier. Well, Amy Van Alstein, the U.S. cross-country champion, is uh, falling off just a little bit. She now runs for Northern Arizona Elite out of Flagstaff, Arizona, as she changed teams back at the end of 2013. And it took her a couple of months to adapt to the new higher intensity and higher uh, distance in her training. But once she consumed and digested that training, she's really been running very strongly. Now, Brenda Martinez has a bit of a... in the. Brenda Martinez, of course, in the orange bottom, has a bit of that right arm whip. So she's working pretty good at this pace into this wind. Yeah, she's working hard, but I think she's being smart. She is just tucked in and letting the uh, the two Ethiopian girls really tackle that headwind. And she's tucked in nicely. Jordan Hasse is slightly off the back, but only by two or three meters. Um, but we've got the worst of this, this hill out the way now. And in the next couple of hundred meters, we're going to get some shelter from the buildings. And... Um, Maybe Jordan get on the back, but for me, Brenda Martinez looks like the pick of the U.S. athletes right now. Yeah, and, and with a 157 pedigree for 800 meters, if they let it come down to that final 300, we probably know who's going to have the speed. But now Betsy Sina, at about 8 minutes and 50 seconds into the race, passing 3,000 meters, or right about the 3K mark at 8.50, heading toward two miles. She really put the, put the boot in and she has really strung this pack out. We've lost uh, Van Alstein and Jordan Hesse. Hoptewald from Ethiopia, number 14, is 
Now on the back of this pack, Brandon Martinez and Gadidham Gabriel Selassie holding strong in third and fourth. But now Julia Bleasdale in her season opener has gone to the front as we come up on the two mile mark. Nine minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. The world record 1446 by Mesret Defar, 936. Yeah, it, it's a good on space, and as we said before, the tough bit really is out the way now. You've uh, come right off the shore with, with that uh, sea breeze, and we've got a bit of shelter now, and Julia Bleasdale looks great, Betsy's hanging in there. Brenda seems to be pulling away from the two Ethiopians who might be paying for, for really taking on the wind themselves. So, it's looking like two, but I wouldn't count Julia out, as, uh, sorry, Brenda Martinez out. We know she's got the, the finishing speed and can certainly reel these two in with the last K. And the crowds are so thick right here in the T on this race course. The race course is shaped like a paper clip, open on both ends. And now Bleasdale has gone directly to the front. She's starting to really feel it. They just crossed Carlsbad Village Drive. We're heading toward the second 180 degree turn. They'll come back and then take a left hand turn down Carlsbad Village Drive for the final 300 meters to the tape. And now we have a definite leader for the first time, Julia Bleasdale out of the UK and looks just as good as she did when we first mentioned how good she looked. Yeah, she looked smooth and I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Tony, I think we've only had one British winner here and that was Liz McColgan. Um, so yeah, Julia looks smooth and good and she's got a definite gap and is it a winning gap? Right now you'd probably say it is. Yeah, she looks smooth, she looks great and hey, this bodes well for a, a great season for Julia. Nobody's coming from behind and you have to remember that Betsy Sina did much of the early work in this race. So she might have used up some of that energy. Julia was smart, tucked in behind, but when she turned into the wind and up that slight grade into the second mile, she seemed to, she must like hill training or something because the, the difficult conditions sort of agreed with her. Oh, absolutely. And you know, she's getting stronger just looking at her now. Um, Betsy doesn't seem to have much of an answer for this one. We've got a downhill, then we do have that last that last U-turn, and then we've got a maybe 300 meters uphill. So if she can maintain maintain this round the turn and up the hill, then I think we're looking at our race winner right now. Brenda Martinez is 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 pushing there on third. She looks to have gapped to fourth, and it's amazing just watching Brenda before coming through those people. She must have a thousand supporters here, being a local girl. Yeah, Brenda Martinez just. Uh... She's a California girl, and uh, she's got a lot of support, but she's got a big gap even to second place as we go up to our 100 degree, 80 degree turn, moving ahead slightly. But Julia Bleasdale, just by her carriage, uh, the, the, the way her, her, her head is carried, it's none of the signs that show like an athlete is in distress are evident. She takes the turn, takes a quick look. Uh, she's pared down. She's translucent. There's not much fat on that, buddy. There's not much there at all. No, she's um, she looks after herself. She's uh, she, she just looks smooth. It's, she looks great. And uh, yeah, uh, I think we're looking at our race winner here. And speaking of Tracy Sutherland before, he said uh, the only problem we've got if Julia Bleasdale wins, we haven't got a British flag. So <laughs> I'm not sure which flag she's going to have to to parade around the finish line. But she's looking great, and I think this is our winner. Yeah, I mean, it's not that she's not working. She's working hard, but she's obviously in fine form just to begin this season. If you can take the measure of a field that includes people who have been at the World Indoor Championships and are sharp and race fit, and she's doing it, not only doing it, but she's doing it with a certain amount of style. Yeah, absolutely. She, she, this is the first time she looks as though she's really working hard, and obviously she's led for certainly the last K and a half. Uh, she's done the hard work, and hopefully she can enjoy enjoy this last little bit. But she's working hard, and she's putting the hammer down, and yeah, it's going to be a great race for her. And as you say, a great season opener. 13:20 on the clock. She went through the first mile in 4:44, the 3K in around 8:50, the two miles in 9:36. You can tell that it's uh, starting to feel it. It's a painful event if you really push it hard, and she's been pushing it hard, taking the lead definitively just about at the four kilometer mark. She's got one more block before the turn onto Carlsbad Village Drive for the final 300 meters. The crowd will give her a big boost. It's still a good 15 seconds or so. Back to second place, Betsy Sina. Hop to wall from Ethiopia in third is past Brenda Martinez, but they're running very close with one another in third and fourth place. But it's no contest as Julia Bluesdale from the UK.
She came here two years ago, finished in sixth position at 15.47. Takes the final turn. The crowd now driving her. Coming up on the three mile mark, 14.33 at three. When we cross the railroad tracks, we'll have 100 meters to go. She's gonna run just over 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a great run for her. I'm so happy for her. It's a, this is a big win for Julia. Uh, you know, as you said, it's season over now and it's, it's a sign of great things for her to come this year. Julia Bleasdale, heading to the line is Carlsbad champion. 1504 and officially, Steve Scott and Dina Castor holding the tape. So Julia Bluesdale, your Carlsbad champion, Brent, Sina, Hoptewald, Ann Martinez, Amy Van Alstein in fifth. Got it on Gabra Salase in sixth. Jordan Hasse in seventh. Come on, get it out of the Cal Poly area. 